Hey guys, and welcome to our playthrough slash building of the MS Westerdam for um, our second episode. Today we mostly worked on the bow. We finished where we worked on the aft curvature of the boat, and we actually got that just about finished. We got all the way up to deck nine complete for the superstructure. So I guess you could say the entirety of the superstructure of the boat is completed. For what we're gonna for the superstructure that we're gonna be building for this build, anyways, is done. So here you can see that we are filling in the bow with oak wood. You can see our work from yesterday helps out a lot here. We can see for some reason I'm opening. Oh, I was looking at pictures of our uh, wonderful little boat there, the Westerdam on Google. So we're just gonna fill it in. Also, we worked on a lot of the balconies today. We got the base frame for the balconies all done entirely, which is really, really good. I'm very happy with how those came out. Um, yeah. So you guys liked the last video. Not really, but pff, nobody watched it yet. This is only the day after I recorded and uploaded that one. So, as you can see, filling in the bow. We're going to be adding in a lot of the more details later, you know, the viewing platforms, the rails and such, etc. Later on, again, now we're still kind of just working on the basic structure of the boat. So we're just going to build that wall right there. This is very fun to look back and watch in um, time lapse. So we had a couple issues with weather throughout this video, which were very, 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 very annoying. I got quite sick of it. So as you can see, all that math that we worked out yesterday doing the superstructure helps pretty greatly. <clears throat> so just going to build up the second layer there for deck five. And now we're going to be building deck six for the bow relief with the front. So we did about four blocks long for the bow, or for the viewing portions on the front of the boat. You can see that there, four. And it was about two blocks, or two or four, two to three blocks set back from the deck in front of it. Four blocks, uh, no, I'm sorry, two blocks was the aft. I believe three was the front. So there you go, there's the front. And I had a bit of a panic attack because it was a lot of mobs and I heard it started hearing scary noises. Didn't like that. So now we're going to head to the aft of the boat, where we are going to begin working on the curvature. Now, I can tell you after this video, it looks quite drastically different. Again, there I was just doing some referencing of the boat. As you can see, it looks very nice so far. Now, I'm aware that on the actual boat, there's some curvature going up from decks 3 and 4. Four. I wasn't able to do that. I did that in a test world that I had. It didn't look good. So I decided it would be best just to do a straight up vertical. Maybe in the future. Kind of looks a little bit like the back of Royal Caribbean boats, but it does it it looks pretty good. I'm i I'm satisfied with it. So, and you're also gonna see that in the video. The reason that the balconies took so long and I made a lot of tweaks to them was because they're really the base for the rest of the boat. Everything else is going to be based off of those balconies. You can see me have a little fun with flint and steel there. Those balconies are so important because that's where the rest of the rooms are going to be and everything else is based on the rooms. So the order we're going to be doing this is we're going to finish all the balconies. They're going to build the rooms that are inside from the balconies. And then we're going to see the amount of space that we're left with for everything else. So decks two and three are going to be empty. They're probably not even going to put a floor in there until after we're done with the staterooms. Then we'll start worrying about, you know, decorating the Lido deck with the with um, all the restaurants. Worry about the main dining room, everything else after, so that we can see. Because they can always cut down on the amount of storage space that there is. Like space on the real boat that's designated as storage or not available to passengers, I can always shrink that down. But, if I build other stuff, before I build the passengers, I won't, uh, staterooms, I won't know if I really need to be able to take some of that room away or if I need to take more room away. So here you can see I'm cutting out the back windows. Now there's five back windows on the boat. So as you can see, I covered them all up again because I had a, I had six and the measurements weren't right. So and then 
we had to move it over one more just to make sure that everything would look good and even. And there we go. After we have our completed back windows. And yes, they are very easy to jump out of in the on the real vessels. So that that's realistic. And here, I made the error of making the balconies three blocks long. Very big mistake. Don't do that. We, the boat's only 34 blocks wide. Three, we're losing six blocks on each side when we could only be losing four with the two block balcony and it looks just the same. So, as you can see, it's only been about five minutes and this is about 20 minutes of work. <laughs> this time it's sped up by four. This is about an hour of work. An hour and 15 minutes, I think. And the video is about... 16 and a half minutes long somewhere around there. So Yeah, this is about 15 20 minutes in Copying the balcony and I copied it all the way up Before I realized I made a mistake There's me computing I believe no I didn't compute yet I, I was I think I was in the process of computing that's right because I needed to see how high up I wanted that to go because it needed to be a little bit short because there's a suite that's right there on the Rotterdam deck. So we had to make sure that we have enough room for the suite, which doing that will cut there the stateroom. We have more than enough room for the suite. And there you can see me. That was where I figured out that it's not going to be wide enough. And there the black one was the walls. So each stateroom that is a veranda inside or ocean view is going to be five blocks long. It's going to have a bed, which is going to be two blocks wide, a wall, a bathroom, and then another wall. And the bathroom's only going to be one block wide. So technically it's six blocks, but about five blocks excluding the exterior wall or the interior wall. So there you go, I've made the correction now with two blocks for the stateroom, I believe. No, nope, not yet. Yeah, I did? Did I? I think so. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention for like half a second there. Yes, I made the correction with two blocks wide for the stateroom, and then I copy it, and initially I make a mistake when I rotated it, and I actually rotated it on the y-axis, so I flipped it upside down, instead of rotating it the way I wanted it to. Got to set the weather to clear, so that way it's not in my way, and bothering me. And this does get very, very, very frustrating to build. Because there's a lot of little tweaks you have to make. So hearing nice comments is really, it makes it a lot easier. It's very nice to see likes on the video. You know, you guys are enjoying it. Because that's what's most important. So. Here we go. Putting up the walls to separate the two staterooms. I might change how I do that. I'm not sure. I'm debating about just using like a really dark pane. So that you can't see through like a black. But the black actual glass is a lot harder to see through. And there you go. There's your, you can see my mistake. I couldn't figure out how to do it because I'm stupid. It's literally just you put the coordinates in. <laughs> and there you go. I put it there. And I'm like, oh, it's going to work. Oh, no. It's just upside down. There we go. So then that should work. Aha. There we go. All right. Cool. So then, I just cut, or cut those out, and I'm going to paste them in, and there you go. It figures the weather's got to turn sour again. And there you go. So, we didn't do too much else. It's mostly just tedious work. We just built the entirety of the fourth deck's balconies. Now, you're going to also notice that I didn't put in the glass elevator yet. That goes on the sides. Again, same thing I said the last episode, is I'm not going to do it until we have the staterooms completed. Because there's a little bit of math that I have to do to figure out. I have to do some proportions because we have about four or five staterooms short of the total length. So I need to figure out where exactly am I going to put these elevators that would be proportionally correct. So that when I do the measurements for everything else on the boat, it's going to be correct. And that it won't interfere. 
Conveniently, I'm just looking now at the deck plans really quick while I, just so I can try to give you a rough estimate. So they start there. So on deck two, it is right, it's just to the front of the Pinnacle Grill and just behind the BB King's Blues Club. There's a little bit of crew area there though. In between the elevators and BB King's Blues. And the port side on the starboard side, there's bathrooms that are right in front of it. So we're going to need to be mindful of those. And on deck three, or the promenade deck, which is where they first become visible, there is, on the port side, elevators, there's a restroom right in front of it, and the ocean bar is on the aft side of it. And on the right side, or the starboard side, the ocean bar continues on the aft side, and in front of it, there's crew area. And, well, obviously, they're on the outside of the boat, so it's mostly balcony, but I'm saying the area in front of it needs to be clear. And then decks four, four to eight is just staterooms, so that's pretty easy to work around. Just fine with a stateroom split. Easy there. They're about the width of two staterooms, or two uh, veranda staterooms in this, so that would be about six blocks wide, would be the equivalent. So, actually, so, deck eight and then deck nine, those glass elevators become surrounded so that it's a much thicker pane of glass and it actually goes out on the outside. And that's usually right above that is where the ship name is. So on this one, Westerdam is right above those glass elevators. So it opens up into the, if you go port, or on the port and starboard sides both, if you go towards the bow of the boat, you'll go to the Lido bar, the dive in, and the Lido pool. If you head to the starboard, you will enter the Lido market and the Canaletto. So here I'm just working on the balconies a little bit more. I'm trying to give you guys facts about the ship too while we're working because a lot of it I don't need to explain. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I'll actually talk a little bit about decks 10 and 11 because those are going to be a bit of a challenge to do. Just moving my deck planes. I'm also going to link the deck planes in the description so you guys can look along with me as I'm talking about stuff and actually see what I'm saying so that way maybe it makes a little bit more sense. So on deck 10 is the sliding glass dome cover for the Lido pool. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm saying... How exactly am I going to build a sliding glass dome cover? Do I want it to be able to function? Do I want it to be able to move? And I'm thinking probably not because the amount of redstone that would be involved in making it move would be very complicated. If I can find a way to work it out or if somebody's really good at redstone in the comments, that would be very much appreciated if you could help me out. And there I also had to fix um, the starboard sides balconies because I skipped a block by accident all the way back here. So, I, oh, right there you can see I messed up. So I'm fixing it, and I'm very mad at myself. Very, very mad. So, yeah, that's disappointing, obviously. So, and the Exploration Central and Crow's Nest. Shouldn't be too hard. Now, the Sports Quartz is where it's going to get interesting, because I don't know how I'm going to position the funnel for the boat. I don't know if I'm going to actually make it so that the steam goes up. Actually, there isn't even steam on these boats. It doesn't even matter. This for the fu uh, funnels nowadays are just for um, display, right? Somebody, I'm used to streaming. So, yeah, I'm used to just being able to get feedback live from people as I'm talking. So if I say stuff like that, I apologize. Like, Can somebody talk. So, just ignore that. I know I say so a lot. I'm just not used to recording. <laughs> it's very weird for me to be doing. For some reason, I decided that it would be a good idea to skip it because I thought I could go back and just do the same thing. But math or Minecraft just doesn't work like that. So, deck 11. There is actually a deck 12, technically. It's not on the deck plans, but there's just some lounge chairs and stuff up there. It's a teak deck. You know, it's a very nice, relaxing spot. Very few people go up there, too. So if you're ever going on the any of the Holland America boats, I believe, Vista or Signature Class, um, very nice space on deck 
quote unquote 12. So the retreat, okay. So the retreat, it's kind of, an, it's you, it's cabanas. You basically pay for the cabanas. So we're kind of coming to the end of the video here. So I'm not going to do my outro yet because there's another like two minutes left. So <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So here I was just working on the aft staterooms. There's a little, it's a bigger suite room. I, I guess you could say it's a suite. Yeah, a suite would work. And there you go. I'm trying to cite so I can build it as accurately as possible. Now, that's the only thing about Minecraft is curves. There's a lot of curves on cruise ships. They're very hard to do, though. So, again, that's why you have to really build it one-to-one -one scale in order for it to look good. Is because if you don't, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to look right. So now, I had to do a bit of engineering ingenuity, which you'll see later on with the port side suites. Excuse me. I did a little bit of engineering with the port side suite, which was basically that stateroom that you can see right there, that is right next to the port side one, actually is not going to be a stateroom, because I had to make that suite one block wider, which would only make that stateroom two blocks wide, which wouldn't be enough. So that is just going to have glass with black wool behind it. It's just going to be nothing. Or maybe on the inside of the boat, I'll make it like a storage room or something. I'll put a couple chests in there. So it looks good. So I'm just going to fill in the balconies really quick. It's very nice. Boat's looking pretty good so far. As you can see, I just found a little hole. Got to patch that up. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a flyover so far of how it looks. As you can see, it's looking pretty good so far. Super structure. Looking really, really solid. I'm very proud of it. And I'm probably just going to put the... Yeah, I'm just going to put those down on that uh, port side. And there you go. My computer suffered a little bit there. Um, crashed. I was very scared that Minecraft just was going to crash completely. That happens occasionally with my computer. So, yeah, there you go. I just had to make a quick fix down here. Wasn't anything too bad. I mean, I thought it was going to cut kill all of my work, and I was going to have to make an explanation at the end of the video as to where it went. Thankfully, I didn't, though. So, guys, thank you so much for watching our video today. I appreciate it a lot. I hope you guys are enjoying the build so far. If you do, like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.